Vicente Padilla of the Red Sox and Mark Teixeira of the Yankees used to be teammates in Texas, but they've had a heated rivalry as opponents. Teixeira thinks Padilla throws at people, like him, deliberately. Padilla thinks Teixeira needs to toughen it up. And he told that to Nesson.com's Didier Morais in a one-on-one -on -one interview. Here's Didier with more on that conversation. Vicente Padilla is tired of Mark Teixeira's criticism. On Friday, the Yankees first baseman called out the Red Sox reliever, saying that he deliberately throws at opposing hitters. And it's a sentiment that, frankly, Teixeira has been saying for many years. And at this point, Padilla is tired of listening. Padilla spoke to me on Saturday night in a Spanish interview and told me that if Teixeira can't handle the heat, he might as well go play in a woman's sport. And he said that the reason he believes that Teixeira has spoken so much over the past Past recent years is because he believes that he's afraid of Vicente Padilla. And Padilla didn't shy away from his stance on Sunday. The Red Sox reliever said that, frankly, Teixeira didn't treat him too well back when they were teammates in Texas, and he stood by all his comments. And for more, read us up on Nesson.com. Reporting for Nesson Daily and from Fenway Park, this is Didi Morales. Back to the big league guys. Franklin Morales was disappointed that he's heading back to the bullpen, but he's also hoping he opened some eyes during his time as a starter. Nesson.com Red Sox beat writer Didier Morais has more on Morales and the person who helped him make that transition so smooth. Franklin Morales had every right to be upset. Since June 17th, Morales had emerged as one of the best starters on the Red Sox rotation. And on Tuesday, the team ended the experiment moving him back to the bullpen. And while Morales could be angry and frustrated, he told me in an interview that he's not. In fact, he appreciates Bobby Valentine for giving him the opportunity. And he says he owes Valentine. Prior to this year, everybody had already banished Morales to the bullpen. But it was Valentine who saw that potential in him and gave him the opportunity and stretched him out into a starter. And now Morales said that he'll do whatever he can for Valentine because Valentine gave him the opportunity to open up eyes and put the rest of MLB on notice that he is capable of being a starting pitcher. Morales also said that he's improved light years from where he was in 2009. He said he's got his location, his command, and he's ready whenever called upon. And for more, check out our story on Nesson.com. And reporting from Fenway Park and for Nesson Daily, this is Didi Morales. When the Yankees drafted Mark Melanson in 2006, they were hoping he was the guy to replace Mariano Rivera. Six years later, and the story has a much different ending. Nesson.com Red Sox beat writer Didier Morais has more on Melanson's journey from the Bronx to Boston. Mark Melanson was once considered the Yankees' closer of the future. He wanted to be the guy to replace Mariano Rivera. But ultimately, it didn't work out. In 2009 and 2010, Melanson battled issues with command and consistency and wound up getting shuffled from AAA back to the majors before getting shipped out to Houston. And now, two years later, he's here with Boston. But he reflects on his time with the Yankees fondly, and he has no regrets with the situation. He said without the experience and the failures in New York, he would have never gotten the confidence to learn he could be a closer in Houston. And he said that even in New York, there were guys like Andy Pettit, Mariano Rivera, and Jorge Posada who kept giving him advice and reminding him to stay confident during the tough times. And for more, check us out on Nesson.com. Reporting from Yankee Stadium and for Nesson Daily, this is Didi Morales. All right, thanks, guys. As we told you at the top, Josh Beckett is out. Franklin Morales is in for Sunday's start against the Twins after the team announced that Beckett has a lower back injury. Nesson.com Red Sox beat writer Didier Morais, he has the latest from Fenway. With Josh Beckett still battling back stiffness, Franklin Morales told me that he will indeed make the start on Sunday. And shortly thereafter, Red Sox manager Bobby Valentine confirmed the news, saying that as of now, Josh Beckett hasn't even touched the baseball because of the back stiffness. And in the meantime, Morales said that he is excited about the opportunity. When he started in June and July, he said he was glad that he got to open everybody else's eyes. And now he'll get a chance to do so again. There's no concrete plan moving forward, considering that the team is monitoring Beckett's status day by day. But for now, Morales will capitalize on the opportunity. And reporting from Fenway Park and Fornes and Daily, this is Didier Morales. All right, Didier, good 